In Dade City, Florida, Dade City Wild Things is home to over 100 species of animals. Dade City Wild Things is actually a ecotourism sanctuary zoo. We kind of do sanctuary work, I do wildlife rescue work, and I also do conservation work here. A lot of people ask me how I started or why I started this. It's kind of one of those days I woke up and I had a zoo. It's not something I intended to do. While 22 acres could be home to one of the most opulent Florida properties, Kathy and Kenny Stearns have turned their land into a conservation park. But there is one animal who stands out from the rest, a coyote pup named Macy, who's broken away from her pack and canine tradition to form an unusual friendship. These are baby coyotes, they're about four months old. This little one here is Macy. In Florida, coyotes are actually considered to a lot of people a nuisance because they attack cattle. Macy's parents was actually wild coyotes. Something happened to the mother and they ended up falling into this abandoned pool and they couldn't get out. We were able to get them and raise them and that's where their father came from, was that particular place. Macy was born here on the property with three siblings. She's always, to me, at least been a very pretty coyote. She has extra white markings around her mouth and her face, and that just always, to me, made her look very almost elegant. Kelsey was the one that did most of the hand raising with the coyotes, so she's got a, a big bond with the coyotes. From a very young age, we hand raised and bottle fed her and her siblings. Macy's always been the run. She's always been considerably smaller than her siblings. In a lot of litters, the runts don't even survive. She was so much smaller, especially at the very beginning, that she was constantly fighting off all three of them. Because of her size, it's easier for her bigger siblings to pick on her and push her around. We started to be concerned that she was getting too dominated. Even when she was left alone, she was just very timid and in the corner, she could just tell she was miserable. So we decided to pull her out and give her some time by herself. In the wild, we respect the life and death cycle, but in captivity, that's our responsibility to make sure that that doesn't happen. The idea was not to keep her completely away, but to actually give her time to strengthen and, and grow and then be able to hold her own. We we're always looking at ways to try and you know bring her out of her shell a little bit and get her to be able to interact better with her siblings. We would play with her some, but we didn't want her play to be 100% with us because we do want her to be with the other coyotes. Then we come up with the idea of giving her a chance to learn to play with another animal. We tried one of the other coyotes, and that didn't work. They were so rough even with the one, and she was so small. When Macy's own siblings wouldn't accept her, they had an idea. How about a bobcat as a playmate? And it was a match made in heaven. The first time we put them together, we were a little nervous because they're so different, and the way they play is very different. And so I wasn't really sure how that was going to work. When we put them in, I mean, they were just happy to get together. It was kind of just obvious off the bat. It's so natural, they were just so entwined in their own world. It's just kind of like instantly they was buds. They definitely remembered each other. They do have quite different styles of interaction. They're both predator animals, and they can be uncomfortable, especially if they're adults, to be expected to live with the other species. And so you get a lot of competition and fighting. I was expecting that they would play, and I was kind of hoping, one, that a Macy could exhaust Priscilla a little, <laughs> and that uh, Priscilla could help Macy out with some confidence. When she went back with the coyotes, which we still put her back with the coyotes every day, you could just see the difference in her personality. It was clear that her bond with Priscilla had given her confidence with the other coyotes. They won't be pushing her around anymore. Macy imitates Priscilla in a lot of ways, that she's learning skills that you don't typically see in coyotes. Macy's actually learning tricks of the cat trade that she could use on the others that they weren't expecting. Look at what I learned at camp, huh? <laughs> Priscilla's about 13 weeks old. She's gonna be a good 30, 40 pounds. She's gonna be a huge cat. She's got a lot of growing to do. Bobcats are found in the US, Mexico, and Southern Canada. Full-grown bobcats are known to take down animals eight times their size. And Priscilla has more of an instinct to hit and run. 
Um, unlike the coyotes who have more of a tendency to stick and stay and, and pin down and hold. Um, so with the Macy's started to find it more as a game and more fun. Even though cat and dog body language is different, I think that they've worked it out. Bobcats, of course, are cats, and coyotes are part of the wolf-dog family, the canine family. They wouldn't normally in the wild ever form a relationship with each other. But if they're building a relationship, they can build a play style together that creates compatibility. They never, ever go after each other in an angry way. To me, that struck me as pretty extraordinary. They play more like equals. It's teaching Macy to actually get more confidence. They'll be together all day long like they pretty much are every day. The connection that they have, it's so much closer than they, we build with them as humans. It, it's, it's different and deeper, I think, beyond just, just being playmates. They look forward to seeing one another. I think that's where you say that they're great friends and not just friends. Macy and Priscilla are well-matched playmates in size and in energy level, but what will happen to their friendship in adulthood when their behaviors are likely to change? Eventually, Priscilla and Macy can't stay together. The coyote could kill the bobcat or the bobcat could kill the coyote. At Dade City Wild Things Conservation Park, Macy, the runt of a coyote litter, was being excluded from play by her siblings. Play is important for the practice that animals get in the predatory behaviors that they need once they're adults. And it's also important in the opportunity to build friendly bonds with other members of their species. Thanks to her unlikely playmate, a bobcat named Priscilla, Macy can now hold her own in the pack. Macy, her entire life, has been the runt. She's been the bottom of the pile. But since she's been playing with Priscilla, as she's gained a lot of self-confidence, she's realized that she doesn't have to just kind of flop over and surrender every time they run up to her. She's even been uh, initiating the play. She chases after them and jumps on top of them. It was the ideal choice because Priscilla didn't have anyone as well, so it solved two problems. I think Priscilla and Macy, they have what we can call a friendship. In fact, since they met when they were very young, it's more than just a friendship. It's a sisterly kind of relationship. It's a really intertwined relationship. It's almost extraordinary every day just to me to see these different species interacting. Eventually, probably, Priscilla and Macy can't stay together, but it's helping them build that bond of a relationship with another animal. Adult coyotes, unlike dogs and wolves, are not social. They pair, but only to raise offspring. And uh, they do not live in packs the way that wolves and, to some degree, dogs do. I'd like to keep Macy and Priscilla's uh, relationship going as long as we feel it's safe for both. They're going to be captive their whole life. I mean, if you can have a friend, why not have a friend? I think everyone needs that. I think they're extraordinary just because of what the relationship has done for Macy. Priscilla definitely helped her overcome her shyness as well as just the confidence she needed. It makes me really happy for her, watching her play with her siblings and enjoy herself and be a normal coyote puppy instead of being at the bottom of the heap. And knowing that that came from being with Priscilla, who didn't have any siblings of her own and otherwise wouldn't get to really play with any other animals is just even better. They're so opposite, a cat versus a dog. And to see these be able to mesh and they both to learn from each other is to me very extraordinary. We'll let it last as long as it can. We'll just see where it goes. It's hard to believe just watching it and comprehending it. I'm sure they're best friends.